Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Small Land, Survive the Wilds, shall we? This game is in early access, good friend of the channel Alex has recommended it to me a few times, and it's got a big update coming out, and we're going to just check out the game, see where it's at at its current state, and if you like what you see, uh, please wishlist the game in the uh, on Steam using the link in the description below, and check it out. All right, so, hmm. Okay, I'm going to make my character. I'm a little person, apparently. And uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Change the head to, uh, you know, male regular, that's fine. Uh, beard, well, of course. And then beard color, blonde. Uh, antenna. Oh, I could change these up, huh? Um, yeah, these are good. Color. Actually, those are pretty good color. Uh, hair. Uh, let's see what we got. Short hair is fine. And then hair color. Let's roll with, uh, there it is. There we go. Let me just see what kind of eyes are available. Double pupil. Uh... Yeah, these are fine. Blue is where we want. Whoa, now I look kind of scary. Ooh, skin color. Wait, wait, wait. What do we got? Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, Nightfall is about as good as we get for blue skin. So I'm going to do that. No face markings. I kind of look scary. Let me change my eyes a little bit. Sapphire is a little more reasonable. And then eyes... Uh, yeah, blank looks less hostile. Um, okay. I love it. All right, we're going to go ahead and confirm. And we are going to be... Well, of course... Doctor Incompetent. If we can... And we're going to have the world not be online, just, you know, uh, me by myself, secluded with whatever horrors await us. And we're going to then... Uh, okay, so peaceful mode I won't do, because I want to just get the full experience. But I'm going to tell you that um, I'm going to keep inventory on death. I... I don't like losing everything when I die in these types of games, like Grounded, for example. Um, I don't know if I should change the day cycle significantly. 30 minutes to a day seems reasonable right now. I don't know if I could change this later. Um, unsheltered building pieces do not take damage during bad weather. I could disable building weather deterioration. We'll see about that. Um, right now, that's the only thing that I really want to uh, change. So we're going to go ahead and just make a new world. Uh, and I'll just type this in. Like this. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and start. So as far as I understand it, this is a kind of crafting, building, survival game where you're really teeny, like in Grounded, but you're not a kid. You're like a uh, a sprite, or a fairy, or just kind of what you look like. Intrepid vanguards, your queen is ill. Gravely ill. This is why, as your king, I am asking for your help. Venture into the overland and seek out a cure, whatever the cost. Be bold. Be brave. Remain vigilant. From King Valdemar's speech to the Vanguard Corps. All right. Okay. Um, and here I am. Let's see here. I can jump. Um, and I can crouch. I can dodge, like roll. Okay. And I can sprint. I can switch to first person mode. Awesome. All right, let's go forward.
Oh, who's this dude? This is Sentinel Virgil. What's up, man? I've been tasked with meeting all vanguards before they leave the burrows as I have crucial information to impart, okay? Keep an eye trained for these owl effigies. They are scattered throughout the area and provide useful hints and tips to help you survive. Once uh, outside, you'll find Captain Hearn. He will help you in your first days outside the burrows. Thanks, man. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty cool and safe in the burrows. I like that area. Um, this is the owl effigy. Let me examine it. Oh, it's like a tutorial owl. Cool. Harvesting. The overland is rich with natural resources and food, and some can only be harvested with the correct tool. You can craft different tools to harvest natural resources. Some resources can only be harvested with specific types of tools, so be sure to learn the best tool for the job. Press left bumper to engage antenna mode in order to help you spot harvestable resources much easier. Ooh, I love that. Okay, great. It's like my, uh, you know, Batman sense. You could do that in uh, Medieval Dynasty, and I like it a lot. So I'm going to do it right now. Yep, look at that. You could see everything that we can get, twigs and sprouts, and I'm just going to push Y to gather it. Oh, you know what? Um, I love that you don't have to hold it down. You just push it. And as I get it, I'm getting new recipes, wood hatchets, uh, things like this. Okay. Okay, the pet whistle, the builder's hammer. I got a lot of cool things that I can make. You know, one thing I like about it is, like, left bumper is a toggle. Like, so you can just be in resource mode like this, so that you could see everything really easily. And then toggle it off. You know, in Medieval Dynasty, like, you pulse that, or you can only do it for a certain amount of time. It takes your, it takes your energy. Um, okay. And you click it once to gather, and then the pieces call, come down, and then you can just pick them up here. And it looks like for everything that I'm gathering, I'm getting, like, one experience point. Okay. Okay, cool. When you examine an owl effigy, it reveals useful pieces of advice. Indeed, this is automatically logged on your compendium, which you can access at any time from the inventory menu. That's great. Press the start button or options uh, to open the inventory and select compendium to see all the hints and tips that owl effigies have already revealed to you. Okay. Yep, here's the inventory, and um, honestly, um, this is these are equipped. So, here's my paper doll in the middle. These items are equipped. Uh, I have a wooden club as my weapon, apparently. I have some bandages. I have some mushroom steak. And then I have these resources. Now, if I hit right bumper to shift over to crafting, I could make, for example, like this hatchet, which I don't have. So, um, I'd like to make this. I made it. And now I don't have enough to make uh, anything else at the moment. Oh, that is the map here. Um, wood hatchet, wood club. Oh, that's just sorting things. Okay, great. So I've got this wood hatchet. Let me go to my actually to my inventory and uh, let me, you know, equip it, I suppose, or equip the club. Um, no, you know what I want to do is put this on my hot bar. So I'm going to move it to uh, up here it's like number one and i'm going to move this to number two and then uh yes you can use the directional pad to kind of switch between which one you've got out and then let me make sure how do i select what i've got out there um Okay, you push up on the directional pad. Cool. All right. Great. Okay, sweet. Um, I'm moving around. What do you say? Uh, press options to open the inventory and select the codex to help keep track of all the workstations and items you can craft at each. You can also check on which armor sets can be crafted by which small folk once you seek them out. Great. 
Game looks great, by the way. I wasn't expecting the, the graphics to be this kind of RPG and cool, but they are. I like it. I like what I see. I've gathered some resin. Like these, like, retained stone walls look awesome. I'm gathering all the fiber. Give me the fiber. What do you got? The Burrows is an extensive network of underground tunnels and caverns that is home to the small folk. The tunnels are incredibly intricate with multiple levels and branching paths that stretch for hundreds of yards in all directions. They are lit by glowing crystal lamps and makeshift torches, creating a warm, inviting atmosphere. Indeed. Okay. Pick this up. All right. Hi, uh, this is Ben. Food at the root barracks has become pretty stale lately. Luckily, my sister brought me some fresh insect eggs this morning. Okay. My wife can make a mean pixie omelet. Nice. All you need for a speedy repair is a good builder's hammer. I need to make one. Mold, mold everywhere. Yeah. They're cleaning it up. Make sure to search out these owl effigies for useful information. Yes, I will. Uh, is there anything I can harvest around here? There's some resin up there. Ooh, look at this awesome kitchen. Wow, are those... I mean, they look like apples, but they might... They're, I'm too big for them to be apples. They're like maybe peas or something. May the sacred owl be with you, Vanguard. Okay. Good luck in the Overland, Vanguard. Keep your wits about you and stay frosty. Oh, a little Warcraft or a Starcraft reference. All right. Um, can I take your food? No. That is a no on stealing their food. Be careful. There are some nasty creatures out there. Have you heard about the queen? I pray to the sacred owl she makes a full recovery. What did you do? Alright, let's see. Anything good in here? Resin. Now, I gotta go out. I gotta go above world to find the good stuff. Oh my gosh, here we go. Alright, so... Here we are at the balcony. You should go and introduce yourself to Captain Hearn. That's my plan. I wish I wasn't on night watch duty. The Overland is a dangerous enough place during the day. Indeed. There's a couple of owls over here. You lose health due to a variety of factors. Being attacked by hostile creatures, extreme temperatures, falling from a great height, or being malnourished. On the bright side, you can recover health by using healing items, keeping yourself well nourished or sleeping. Sprinting, sliding, dodging, jumping, attacking, and blocking all consume stamina. Pay attention when it becomes low and manage it carefully to not leave yourself vulnerable. Oh my god. But I like somersaulting. Oh, can I harvest this? Oh, you bet I can. Oh my god. Yeah, we need all of this. Give me this. Harvest it. There's so much stuff I need to craft. I don't have uh, a hammer... You know, for example, oh, this is fantastic. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to go into my crafting. I'm going to see what can I make. I can make a builder's hammer. Got it. And I already have a club. Um, I'm not sure if I have a torch, but I do now. This would require firefly juice and insect fat. I also can build a camp... Oh, because I have the hammer, I can build a campfire, a workbench, a bed. Okay, sweet. Now, I'm sure the game will have me do these things. Press down on the directional pad to open your map and see your position in the overland. The map will show you the location of other vanguards, your spawn location, your gravestones, and any custom markers you add. By selecting a marker, you can make it appear on the compass at the top of your screen. Okay. Okay. 
That's great. I love navigational quality of life because I get easily lost in every game. Small folk are resourceful people. Tools, weapons, and food can be crafted out of the materials of the overland. Find crafting recipes to learn how to craft new items. Typically, you will need a crafting station to craft new items, but every vanguard knows how to craft some basic tools and weapons without a workbench. Open the crafting menu with uh, some button to see which items you can craft from the get-go. Right, with the select button. Armor provides protection against different types of damage and can also keep you warm in cold weather. Some settlers in the Overland have the expertise to make new sets of armor for you, provided you give them the required materials. Yeah, I need some armor. Are you man? Oh, it's Hearn. Greetings, Vanguard. Welcome to the Overland. I am Captain Hernest uh, Manikabi, but most small folk simply call me Hearn. What can I do for you? Um, can I ask you some questions? Sure, what exactly do you want to know? What's the Overland? The Overland is what we call the world on the surface, a very dangerous place. Here, you won't find all the comforts of the burrows. You'll have to find food and construct shelter to survive. Uh, which tools should I craft? I suggest you start by crafting a club, a hammer, a hatchet. Okay, I did those things. Um... You can craft these basic items without a workbench. You just need to have enough materials. The oak forest is rich in fiber and wood, so keep your eyes peeled for them. You can also get useful resources from hunting creatures. How do I build a shelter? First, you need to craft a hammer. Once you have one, you can equip it to start building. Beware, weather in the overland can damage your constructions unless they're covered by a roof. Where can I find food? Um, I suggest you start by... Oh, wait, wrong. I already asked that. Okay. Here, let me talk to him again. Um, here we go. Where can I find food? You'll find food all around you. You just have to learn what can be eaten and what can't. Mushrooms and wild strawberries can be found right here in this very forest if you know where to look. You can also hunt the creatures of the woods. Some of them can be very tasty. Creatures? Yuck. Sacred Owl Vanguard, have you never eaten anything but leaves? Some creatures' organs are delicious, and if you don't like them raw, you can always cook them. You should build yourself a campfire and try. Build a campfire? First, you need to craft a hammer. Once you have one, you can equip it. Okay. There's something else I would uh, like to ask before you go. Um, oh, wait. Wrong thing. Let me talk to him again. Uh, can you craft some armor for me? Sure, but you'll have to bring me all the materials. Um, I would like you to craft armor. Okay, so for this, he needs fiber for padded armor. And for light armor, he needs fiber as well. So what's the difference here? This is protection 1, durability 110, cold protection 9. This is no protection. Oh, uh, let me compare the, the same thing. This is the wrap for your body, and this is the singlet. It's less durability, but it gives you movement speed. This gives you no movement speed, more durability, and gives you cold protection. Okay, cool. Um, this is two, this is two, so it's like a 6% move speed buff, which is actually a lot. So we need to get a bunch of fiber for this, and what else can we say to you? Um, I was told to report to you for my assignment. Ah, yes, I've been expecting you. The Elder, Ludwig, has requested your presence. Go see him at once. He is staying in the cave, just down the hill. Thanks, Cap, I'm ready to go. Alright, let's get some fiber for this guy. Man wants fiber. Now here's a question, if I equip, I've got my hatchet, right? So... Can I just use this to, like, cut these leaves? Or is that not how you harvest? Maybe it'll tell me specifically if I can harvest. Small folk are resourceful people. Um, you need a crafting station. Oh, right, right, right. I already looked at that. Okay, let's go down here. Let's look for fiber. Here we go. Sprouts. Sprouts equal fiber. I love armor in all games. I love having some defense. So uh, I'm, you won't see me move on until I get the armor. Stay away from deep water. Small folk can't swim. Upon death, you will respawn at your activated bed or spawn location. A tombstone will appear where you died. You must travel it back to it to reclaim your inventory. Right. Unless you did what I did, which is um, make it so that that doesn't happen. Which is a quality of life feature for me. And the reason I do that, by the way, is uh, 
I've come to the conclusion that like while I'm streaming a game, most of the time I put settings like that on unless it's completely against the spirit of the game in my opinion because uh, it just takes time for me to like have to get the items back if I lose them and it's not as interesting as getting to see new content. So it just helps the progress uh, continue. I am hungry and thirsty. Okay, I think I actually have some some food and the like. But first, let me get all this fiber and resin. I mean, I'm like, I'm not about to level up, but I'm doing well. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, you could just hold it down. Oh, my God, you don't have to click Y on the gamepad. You can just hold it down, and it will uh, harvest and then pick up for you. It's amazing. All right. Now, you have to push it once to initiate if it's a new item, if it's a new thing that you're interacting with, but... You, did, you just basically push Y and hold it, and you'll gather everything. All right, let's go see. Um, yeah, you can see my, in the bottom left, I have health, I have hunger, and I have a temperature gauge, and I have my experience. So I'm going to go to my inventory. I'm just going to look at, um, they did start me out with some food, right? Mushroom steak. So I can just use this. I could actually put it on my hot bar if I want as well. Have a little food out here. And that filled me back up a bit. But not a ton. Let me get the armor made. Oh no, I don't need to know something. Here, go ahead and help me uh, get the armor. I want the movement speed for now. Gauntlets, leggings, five, and uh, the singlet. Great. So currently I have the Traveler's Torso, uh, which gives you a lot of cold protection, actually. But we're going to wear this on top. So I'm going to equip this, this, and this. And we have a different cool outfit on that allows us to move a little faster. Sweet. Now I need to start figuring out uh, food and the like. So let's go check out this cave. Uh, can I break this? Not really. Oh, who's this dude? The Elder. You're finally here. What are you doing in this overgrown cave? The jeweled clover key that unlocks the apothecary's chest has gone missing. I fear it may have been stolen. We're here trying to find some other means of opening the chest. Okay. Uh, who is the apothecary? Melkar was the royal family's personal apothecary. This cave we're standing in was his personal laboratory here in the Overland. He would spend countless days searching the Overland for rare ingredients to use in his potions. What's in that chest? Melkar, the apothecary's greatest achievement, the elixir of life. He claimed it could heal any ailment known to small folk. Do you have any idea who might have taken it? The key was locked in the royal vault, which is always under heavy guard. Only the king and I are allowed entry. The theft was noticed when the queen became ill and the clover key was needed, but it could have happened some time ago. Hmm, it seems pretty suspicious. Maybe like the king is trying to uh, take out the queen, like poisons her and has already like has access to the elixir that would heal her and doesn't want her to get healed. So is like, uh, you know, I'm going to take the key. I mean, that's a these are pretty serious accusations and I have nothing to support them, but you know what I mean. Uh, have you tried forcing the chest? We dare not. The chest is heavily reinforced, and we would risk destroying the elixir within. I was told to, uh, you requested my presence, Elder. Yes, we received troubling reports from overland settlers in the forest. It seems as though some of the creatures in the area 
have become unusually agitated and aggressive. Seek out these settlers and investigate their claims. Does this have anything to do with the Clover Key? It is an interesting coincidence, but we have no evidence to suggest that there is a connection. You'll find the settlers scattered throughout the forest, so I have marked their locations on your map. Be careful, Vanguard. The wilderness is filled with danger. Hearn and Caleb can help you survive here in the Overland. I shall leave now. All right. Uh, anything in here that I can gather? I can harvest the Elder. Um, wow. Okay. So do I want to keep going down this way? Probably not. I probably want to... It looks like a chest made out of walnut. On the back, there are hinges. On the front... It has a strange cavity in the shape of a four-leaf clover. Right. Um, this is what I need to open. So, let's go find what's going on in this crazy world that someone would steal the key to the elixir of life. Wow, look at that chest of drawers. That's very charming. The aesthetic is kind of like a little bit in the uh, vein of the Shire, but also more like Rivendell, you know, with elves. A little bit of both. Temperature will generally drop at night and will raise in the afternoon. Also, some creatures of the Overland are nocturnal and will only come out at night. Watch out, as night creatures are usually more dangerous than their daytime counterparts. Build a bed to set a new spawn point and have a place to sleep. You can only sleep at night and uh, for you to fall asleep, you must be sheltered, and there must be no hostile creatures around. Okay. So, can I just, um, let's go into my inventory. Let's put my hammer on the toolbar. And then let's go over here. Let me use it. And let me build some structures. Can I just build a bed, like, right in here? Do you mind? It says building not allowed here. That's mean. What about right by the Elder? Can I bunk in here? The Elder's like, dear God, no. All right, what else can I build? A chest, a sign, a workbench, and a campfire. But what about, like, uh, a twig and leaf foundation? Yeah, you see, I would need a roof. A door... decorations. All right, we need to build a house. Because we need a spawn point. I guess I could... I don't know if you could sleep under the stars or not. I know it would deteriorate in the weather. But, I mean, what do I care? If it's just one night. So it's... It's still sort of comfortable, but you can see it's, you know, threatening to become too cold for my character. I might have to switch clothing. Now, I don't know if... Um, oh, I can harvest this edible mushroom. Here's food. So I just go here, and then it'll tell you right trigger if it is something you can actually harvest with the axe. Okay, cool. Um, oh, it looks like it automatically saved the game. Now I'm going to check my inventory in one second here. And did the mushrooms go in here? I don't see it. Like... No. Where are they? Um, I mean, I cut down a bunch of mushrooms. I tried to harvest it. I have fiber. I have my torch. I have a hammer. I have resin. I have mushroom steak, but I already had that. Oh, where did the edible mushroom go? Did I not do it the right way? Did they fall down and I didn't pick them up? Oh, here we go. Okay. I have to pick them up, but they don't show up in my, like, sight beyond sight or whatever. Where'd they go? Maybe they fell further away, and I just don't see them. I got one mushroom, but um, I don't see the others. 
That's a shame. Oh, here we go. I have three now. Maybe they all get it together. Okay, so this gives you 0.6 um, nourishment. So we will um, eat, eat, and eat. And I'm getting, my temperature says I'm cold, so I need to build a fire and a sleeping thing. There's a giant owl over there. That looks cool. Um, all right, what I'm going to do is go into my inventory and let's see what happens if I like equip these clothing for warmth protection. Now I'm comfortable. And you can see I lose hit points because I'm uh, maybe undernourished. No, because I was cold. Oh, it's daytime, so we're actually okay. So let me just build a bed right here, even though it's a dumb spot for it, just so I can like maybe have a spawn point. Okay. And I will activate the spawn point. Okay. Ooh, look at those butterflies. Okay. So it looks like I can jump up these mushrooms to get places. And there's a lot of fiber. No, these actually aren't fiber. All right, let's go over here and explore. Well, no, wait, let's look at the map. Here's where I am. So this is, um, I need to talk to Drastana and um, Caleb. So let me put a marker on Caleb. Can I do that? Oh, is Caleb on my compass? No. Interesting. So I can't really put him. Um, a marker right on top of this guy. Maybe because I haven't been there, but I'll put that there. And then now, can I see it? Oh, I thought it said it was going to put markers on my compass. Did I misunderstand that? Oh, track. Okay, yeah, track this. Um, There he is. It's faint. Okay, this way. Let's go this way. I wonder if I can grab these butterflies to just fly around. I'm sure they'd like that. All right. All right. Okay. There are five distinct weapon types your Vanguard can wield. Blunt, edged, piercing, poison, and fire. The creatures you encounter in the Overland have different strengths and weaknesses when it comes to each. Pay attention to the icon next to their health bar, which determines which weapon type will be more effective. Okay. So, Ladybug, can I kill you? Uh-oh. Whatever, Ant Warrior. Whatever. Whatever, Ant Warrior. Okay, wait, there's a lot of them. Okay, I'm not blocking correctly. Oh, God. Okay. I got an ant head. I almost died, but I did level up. Uh, so I don't know what that means exactly. Let's go look at that. Um, inventory, crafting, map, compendium. Uh, I think they just told me about leveling up. Maybe not. Campfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to make a campfire for sure. Let's make one like right here. I'm hungry. And thirsty. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I can eat this thing? Oh, but I got to cook it. Okay. Here, let me eat um, this. And then let's go ahead and select a hammer. And then build um, a campfire. Campfire. 
and I'm going to use it to make an ant skewer. And it looks like I made it instantly, which is awesome. And if I go to my inventory now, I have an ant skewer. Ooh. That really fills me up. And hopefully it heals me. Let me look at my different weapons. Just This does 6 to 8 blunt damage. This does 20 harvest damage, but or 4 to 6 edge damage. Um, yeah, the club is better for fighting. It's, uh, it actually, the club uses more stamina, but it has better blocking power and such. And you can have the heavy attack where you can't really do a heavy attack with the axe that I've seen. Okay, so to heal, I guess I need to eat food or... Use a bandage? I'll use the bandage to heal up. And I will put this on my hot bar, too. Can I craft that? Maybe at a workbench. All right. Um, let me see. Where am I at on the map? There's my spawn point. Okay. I like this little clearing here. I'll tell you what. Is this a terrible place to do everything? Yes, it is. Am I going to do it anyway? Yes, I am. Oh my god, a storm approaches. She Seek shelter. But I have no shelter. I'm ruined. Precipitation can damage structures, so make sure your constructions are properly roofed. Rain also makes plants and mushrooms grow. That's good. Okay, and you need to watch out for the weather. All right, I'm going to run and see if I can get some cover. Um, perhaps, like, under, yeah, under this. This counts, right, as shelter? I mean, it looks like it would to me. Okay, so while I'm waiting, I'm going to use my hammer. I'm going to build a workbench. Collision? Get out of here. Got it. I'm going to use the workbench. I need to make bandages, yes. Sweet. Now I can make some better stuff here. Um, the crude hatchet is actually better than the wood hatchet. But I need chitin to do that. A pickaxe. A travel kit. A pet whistle. Interesting. Alright. Um, okay. So I'm hoping that this thing will provide shelter, but it might not. Oh, wow. Remain sheltered. Okay, that's where I am. Wow, it's scary. The whole world is shaking. Oh, my God. Alright. fire bed here put this uh, rotate this baby Now, I don't know if that's actually under the shelter or not. Oh, I'm freezing. Well, I'm right by the fire. Doesn't this count? My character's, like, dying. How can I be cold so close to the fire? I guess the storm broke. Maybe this thing doesn't count, I don't know, as shelter. I'm going to have to build a house 
proper for sure. This was just a makeshift little thing that I built um, because I was trying to use this branch or this like root or whatever this is as shelter, but I don't know if I did that correctly. I'll build all of this better in a house. And uh, we'll get into that next time. Everyone, I think this is a good place to stop the first episode of checking out Small Land. I'd love to know what you think of this game. Have you played this? Do you like what you see? Do you want to see more of this? Um, are you excited for the new update? Remember, if you are enjoying this game, you like what you see, make sure to go to Steam and wishlist it to support the developers and f follow up on any kind of updates that are happening. There is a big update coming out for this game very soon. And I'll put a link in the description below to the Steam page. It's in early access. And boy, I have to say there's a lot going on in this game. And I'm excited to see more. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care.